Kim Jong-un back in the news. Yes, he just called Trump's bluff and placed two ICBMs into firing position. The story from Elizabeth Shim for United Press International reporting that North Korea has now placed two new intercontinental ballistic missiles into position in an area north of Pyongyang, according to a Japanese television network. NHK reported on Sunday that two ICBMs that may be equipped with newly developed engines might have been deployed just ahead of U.S. President Donald Trump's inauguration on Friday. They report here that a South Korean military official who spoke on a condition of anonymity told NHK that the two missiles can be launched at any time. They also write that last week, Yonhap News reported that the two new road mobile ICBMs were recently captured by South Korean military intelligence. The new road mobile ICBMs appear to be shorter than Pyongyang's other versions, including the 1920 meter in length KN-08 and the 17 to 18 meter long KN-14, officials told the South Korean news agency. Now, as we have recently reported, Donald Trump has changed his position and he has instructed the Pentagon to fortify the anti-ballistic missile system in the United States. As we've reported uh, for some months now, on the tail end of the Obama administration, Pentagon officials complaining repeatedly that the western part of the United States is vulnerable to North Korean intercontinental ballistic missiles, or Russian or Chinese for that matter. But the only nation that has actually levied threats, of course, is Kim Jong-un's dictatorship of North Korea. They state here that according to NHK, the South Korean official said that the two-stage missile is similar to the medium-range ballistic missile known as the uh, Musudan. The first stage of the missile is different from the Musudan and may be equipped with a newly developed engine. Uh, they continue here that China shares an 880-mile border with North Korea. They are wary of Pyongyang's provocations and have warned its neighbor about weapons development. Now, it's unclear if China is going to act. Of course, we do know that Donald Trump has said, look, you got to deal with North Korea before we do. And I've stated that I'm con I have my own concerns that because the can has been kicked down the road for so many administrations, and that North Korea has continued their nuclear program unhindered, that now... The ball is falling directly into Donald Trump's court. And Dennis Rodman ain't going to talk us out of this one. But you know what? He wouldn't be a bad guy to send over there. Seriously. I, th I mean, it's, it sounds totally crazy. It's insane to think that you would send Dennis Rodman to North Korea to defuse the nuclear situation. But he's been there before. Kim Jong-un loves the guy. Can you imagine if Dennis Rodman is the savior, <laughs> stops and averts the war between the United States and North Korea? Can you imagine that, that crazy scenario? Well, it's been a pretty crazy year so far. No one expected Donald Trump, and I'm sure no one's going to expect Dennis Rodman going over there to defuse a nuclear bomb sitting in Kim Jong-un's lap. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see if the Chinese pick up the slack there first. And uh, anyway... We'll keep watching this. Right now, two ICBMs are sitting, waiting to be launched. It's unclear if they have nuclear warheads upon them. But these are ICBMs, meaning intercontinental ballistic missiles. Kim Jong-un has stated repeatedly that the intercontinental ballistic missiles that they have could reach the United States. They've also claimed that they have miniaturized a hydrogen bomb, which could be placed on the heads of these intercontinental ballistic missiles and of course be shot into the united states and they've threatened to do so so we're going to sit back and wait and find out how the diplomacy unfolds and if action actually occurs against the united states or kim jong-un what are your thoughts comment below subscribe for updates if you like what we're doing give us a thumbs up and share this report on your social networks for the next news network i'm gary franchi you possess the power to impact the global narrative. Please, share this report, and, 
to get more videos like this, become a next news subscriber by clicking the link below. Thank you for watching, the next news network.